When artist Laura Windvogel, a.k.a. Lady Scully, won a major art prize last year, she was proud to have done it. She says she's never fitted in, dropped out of art school, and only got professional representation in this country at the age of 31. The prize is now validation of the path she's chosen. Scully is someone who has always known that she wanted to be an artist. Uh, she has never wondered about what she was going to do with her life. I think everybody around me always thought, what, what is Laura going to do? But I've always known that I wanted to be an artist. Even the most supportive of parents may worry about art as a career. And this was the case with Laura. I also think that as a person of colour, Sometimes it gets confusing because your parents only want the best for you and often you'll think it's sabotage. They're trying to sabotage you or tell you to not do something that you really want to do. But I think it's also just a way of them protecting you. You know, my parents just wanted to make sure that I was fine. And in my young years, there were people that were not making money from art. But now, currently, people are living and I'm living. And now I'm in a position where I'm represented and I'm able to just live every day as an artist, which is all I've ever wanted. While she now calls Joburg home, when she was at school in Cape Town, she enjoyed nothing more than soaking up the city's culture. Long Street is where I learned to really be an independent person. I would go to school in the southern suburbs, stay in school kids, but I did bunk and I would take the train and it was still safe to take the train and I'll just come and, you know, explore Cape Town. And I think that this place was one of those places that after work I would just come here and have a little plate. I never knew what Ethiopian food was like. So whenever I came here, it really felt like I was immersed and like I was in a place I'd never been before. I think my greatest achievements in my life would definitely be the fact that often I applied myself to things knowing that that's all I wanted. So I didn't ever give myself safety nets because it was like, if I don't get it, I'm not gonna go there. But I think my greatest achievement is just being what I've always wanted to be, which is be an artist and not try to indulge other things too much. Because sometimes you indulge other things and you get taken away from the thing you're supposed to do. So I say for sticking with what I believe in which saw her commissioned to design a new coin marking 25 years of democracy. Being approached to do the 500 coin was interesting because I had gone in 2011, I'd never been overseas before and I made my little plans and I was like, I'm going overseas. Went there, got to Prague and there was an actual exhibition of Salvador Dali and Alfonso Mucha. And in his living life, Alfonso Mucha had designed uh, paper money. And I remember looking at the exhibition and I think I was about 24 and I thought, wow, that's... I never even thought of the fact that uh, money is also an art form. And then fast forward eight years and someone messages me and they say, don't you want to just apply for this thing? And I do. And then not only did I get it, um, I got an additional one, which was like the circulation coin. The prices her work now commands reflect the respect it has earned and it's at exhibitions that her profile and art sales continue to grow. So for this art fair, I mean many works before, I always reference the snake. I think in South African folklore the snake gets such a bad rep, but it's really an animal that also symbolises renewal. Um, in this case, I kind of reference um, snakes and ladders a lot. And I think people forget that snakes and ladders was something that children played to talk about morality and talk about what is a good choice or what is a bad choice and your bad choice will make so that the snake swallows you and you go down and your good choice will advance you up on the ladder. Um, but we live in a world that proves every day that the ladder is not always a ladder. Sometimes the ladder is made out of snakes and sometimes the snakes are actually not such bad people that kind of help you and coil you up to a place. While Scully describes her art as being hard, fast and now, her legacy is set to be an enduring one. What I'd like to be remembered for is that I helped a whole bunch of younger brown women to feel that they can also be represented within this world that seems so unattainable and it seems so confusing and it seems like something you'd never be able to be in until you're actually there. I'd also want to be remembered as someone who made other people bold 
and so that they can also go and do something which is actually, I mean, it's a hard world, the art world, but it's not that hard, you know? So I think that if you want to do it, you should really do it. It's always hardest for the first ones through the barriers. And here's to the many who follow. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.